Hey, how the heck are ya? So I realized I never made an intro for this video. The homie Kevin, he just recently got a new GR86 and then he bought some used coilovers off of an older generation FRS, which apparently it fit and it went pretty well. So here's a video of us doing stuff. Enjoy mine. Shits? No, they came fucked up actually. Really? Yeah, it's on this side too. Put the light on somewhere. Uh, I need an extendo. Yay! I'm having so much fun right now. <laughs> Come on, it's pretty fun. Come on! And then this should come out. Wow. Hmm. Interesting. I think you can squeeze it. I've seen somebody use a flathead, actually. I'll just stick this back here. And then I push it. There's that. Some more tabs also. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just take these off. Like, I'm gonna take the end lick off, then I'm gonna take these off, and then hopefully... It gives you like more girth in the hearth. More bigger. 17, what? I need more leverage. Come on now. <clears throat> Yo. Yeah, bro, I don't think that pops out. <laughs> so the next one's a 19er. That's not a 19. Go in, you machuga. Does it fit? Oh, baby, it fits. Oh, baby. I don't think the bottom one will fit. Ha, 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 baby. Oh, this turns. <laughs> this fucking paint up, bro. Brand new paint job. Holy fuck. That was easy. Holy shit. It's a boy! <laughs> this has to face the car. Oh, it does? Okay. Like that? Or the other way? Let's just keep keep turning until it looks right. There. Yes, that way. Alright. Open it, boy. Just thread them in and then... Why are the springs so fucking... Well, it like to tighten the... the top hole. I have an idea. <laughs> We get the new coil over in. Everything's torqued down. Campbell plates. Kevin's working on this side. I'm a fucking bot. Boy in NPC trying to work on cars type beat. Yeah, yeah. So this is the original coil over here. This is the aftermarket one. Kind of crazy. I've never seen such a shiny exhaust. I want one. I want an exhaust, Kevin. Oh. Boy playing ring around the rosy over there. You lock your doors. <laughs> he can't get in now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Forgot I have eyes. I can fucking read. Boy got eyes. Kevin putting the extendo on the extendo. It's on. Damn, bro. Strap like that. You strap like that. I didn't totally loosen these before That's okay. we started this, so so that Kevin doesn't doesn't look like a like a loser. You're tightening it. I am. Flip the switch. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Wow, Kevin knows how to work on cars. No. This is gonna drop it a little bit, so don't be scared when it drops a little bit. I ain't no bitch. I didn't. <laughs> Bro, using that shit upside down and shit. Okay. 
so we go that way. I, d no, no, no. What you mean? Really a rubber mallet that we're using. 100%? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, you're gonna wanna um, kind of hold. Give yeah. Cuidado, Bobby, cuidado. It's not paid, it's fine. Okay. Y ahora que? The end link. <laughs> I think I went around your head when that happened. <laughs> Alright, now you're good. That's fine. Just get the little... Oh, wait. Didn't we... We didn't do anything. Didn't we take the top off? No, we didn't. What? We did that for the... Yeah, we did that for the bolt. Apparently, the old generation coilovers fit on the new GR. Kevin bought one from the old generation. These. You have to swap the clip that's on the top here. Which is a bitch to get off. You just gotta stick a... You gotta stick a little screwdriver in there. Then on the other side, it's easier to do when it's out of the car, so I just unclipped it, and then I'll clip it back in when it's in the car. But for now, oh yeah, seré que vuelta. Yep, have fun with that, bro. All right, I'll be back later. <laughs> See ya. Come on, Kevin, stick it in the hole, buddy. There you go. So, uh, you know what you're doing there, bud? Nah, hold on. Let me do that. That shit does not reach. <laughs> <laughs> like, at all. Oh my god, Kevin! <laughs> He's doing it! Kevin's working no, on not. his car! I'm actually not doing that correctly. Alright, Kowalski status report. We got both the fronts in. Everything's torqued down to speak. These end links are connected to a sway bar so you can't do it one by one you have to do it together basically put the end links on first on each side and then you can put assemble everything back together but so that this moves freely right here and uh yeah so right now we have hopefully my jack can uh handle it mm, yeah. mm, mm, mm. Yeah. we're lowering the car to see how the fronts look Wow. Well, that's like almost three fingers. And then back here, I could stick my entire fist. So like, it's some progress. And you have, you have literally have, like it looks like you have just like a tiny, the tiniest bit of camber. And it goes in so much. Ew. Oh. Yo, see. this one has so much goop. <laughs> you gotta like Ooh. hammer that shit out. Stupid ass. Alright, time to have sex. Wait, wait. Huh? How did you do this? Uh, very carefully. So I got the three bolts off on that side. That one, that one, and that one. And then we're gonna drop the control arm. And then once we loosen the bolts at the top, whoosh, loosen these bolts up here. Ugh. Should be two. And then two over here. Nice, dude. <laughs> okay, we got this strut in. Oh, wow, that's right. We got this strut in. Super easy. It was like like literally three seconds of us just doing this. We're not going to put the control arm yet. I'm going to drop this one, take this one out, put it in, and then put them in at the same time so that we can avoid the end link issue where it gets stuck on each side on the sway bar. Easy peasy. Let me just hammer these out. Up. Now you can remove the two bolts up top. So you gotta take the freaking clips out of all that little thingies over there. Did I miss one? I don't know. There you go. You know what you're doing. There you go. That's wow. what's up, big dog. Hit me up for all your interior trim removal needs. Uh, my labor rate is the supercar labor rate, so it's 200 an hour. Oh, all right, Kevin's now removing the top bolts from the rear. So I just gotta sit here and wait for the little itty bitty thing to come out. You don't really have to remove anything. Just the three bolts and then two top bolts and then like the 3,000 clips. Yep, got it. All right. 
I'm gonna name you Delilah. You're scratching my fucking. There we go. Dude. Yo, bro, you scratching my trunk, bro? Bro. You playing with your springs, bro? Oh. All right, ladies and germs, look at these hands. Bro, they're all just covered in muck. So, uh, for the bottom, I couldn't film it because I couldn't get the, a good angle. So I'll just tell you what we did. That is the end link bolt. This is the bolt that lowers the control arm. You have to raise it on both sides and then you have to do the strut. Put the end links on first and then put the lower control arm end piece. But make sure it lines up before you go up because if you put, if you put these two in first, this side could be stuck over on a metal part and then you can't get it out so then you have to loosen it back up and it's a bitch so uh just remember end links first on each side then the end and then the strut and you have to jack up the strut we're gonna torque these down now they're a little loose but yeah easy peasy i'm gonna lower the car and see how it looks Ooh. <laughs> Oh, bro, you're so good. I do. There's so much space under there. Look at. Let me let me hold that bit. On go, on go, on transfer, transfer. Damn. Yo, with the spacers, it'll probably rub. I'm not gonna lie. We're gonna deal with that when we get there, though. Look at, yeah. Look at the front. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's let's lower the other side. Oh my god, dude, your engine bay is so low to the ground. Listen, honestly, bro, it's not that bad. You got so much room in here. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's okay. Like the front is good. The yeah, front is yeah, the front looks good, good. bro. Wow. Well. Sheeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
My bad, I thought you...